So today on Build Builds, we're going to be making a really cool cedar mailbox. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see some really cool bloopers, and it'll be worth it. All right, so let's get this show on the road. We are now sanding all of my boards down to three quarters of an inch, so then they all lay really nice together. Haven't done a voiceover in a little while, so I'm a little rusty. Here we are again, sanding them down. Now I am just marking them all to 20 inches, and they are 10 inches tall already, so I'm just gonna leave them that tall. But here we go. Now I am marking the inside bottom piece that is going to be 18 inches long by eight inches wide. Now I am grabbing just a scrap piece of two by material and I'm using that as a spacer. So then when I put my pressure treated two by 12 on the bottom and cut it down the fit inside, it'll all fit really snug and flush and you won't be able to see it. So here we are doing pocket holes. I did them off camera because it's just a little bit simpler for me, but yeah, they're awesome. And now I am putting a 35 degree angle cut on the top and it's gonna work out really nice. Here I am sanding all of my boards down and I'm just sanding them down to 220 grit. Please, please, please stay to the end because there are some really cool and really funny bloopers that you guys will get to see and you'll get to see the finished product. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end. Alright, so here I am putting the pocket holes together. I just put a very small bead of glue down and did it that way. I didn't set up my camera angle that well, but it's fine. You guys get the point. You just put the pocket screws in. I will leave the A link in the description where you can get the jig for this. It's awesome and they're really strong joints. They just take a little bit of time to do. So now we are running the 35 degree angle as well on the ridge. So then the lines line up really good. If those little holes I will fill, there it is, 35 degrees. And here's a little montage of the holes and stuff like that. I put a really heavy duty magnet on it. It is way overkill. So just go with a two magnet, not a four. Plug those awesome holes and now I'm just sanding what I glued up to fill one of the little holes in the front because it wasn't watertight. Alright, after that we put the hinges on and it is all good to go now some silicone on the inside so it looks really good I put the black hardware on you can go with any hardware you like but this will be the end of the voiceover make sure you guys hit that like subscribe and turn notifications on so you know whenever i have a new video and i will see you next time peace
So today on Bill Bills, we're gonna be. So today on Bill Bills, we're making a really cool cedar mailbox. Stop walking around. So today on Bill Bills, we're gonna making a really cool cedar mailbox with a cedar post. I'm gonna show you how to do the whole thing. Remember, like, subscribe. Today on Bill Bills, we're gonna make a really cool cedar mailbox. So remember, like, should subs share, and subscribe. Today on Bill Bills, we're gonna be making a really cool cedar mailbox that. Thanks.